Hey guys, it's Diego and Alicia, and today we're going to explore the three temples of Shanghai. The White Temple, the Blue Temple, and the Black Temple. One of the most unique and somewhat bizarre destinations in Southeast Asia, the White Temple in Shanghai is a site not to be missed on your trip to Thailand. What's up guys, so we finally made it to the White Temple and this is stunning, stunning. I, I can't think of one word to describe this because it's so beautiful. We're just trying to take everything in, but it's so beautiful. What do you think, Milo? I definitely checked something off my bucket list today. The common theme of the temple is that of escaping greed and desire and moving towards enlightenment through Buddha's teachings. The pure white color choice as well as much of the structural choices, mythical creatures and positions of the white temple's guardians and deities depict religious and symbolic meanings. The white temple was inspired by traditional design of Buddhist temples throughout Thailand. The building has a three-tiered roof and is decorated with unusually intricate serpents and makes for an incredible sight. Although we could not film inside the temple, we did notice a striking contrast to its traditional Thai structure and beautiful Buddhist decor. Inside, there were paintings of Spider-Man, Darth Vader, Michael Jackson, Hello Kitty, and even Angry Birds. All characters were intermingled with flames, demons, and the tragic scenes throughout history. The White Temple is an Instagram blogger's dream, and that's exactly where I discovered that this place existed and immediately told Diego, we have to go here. One thing Instagram wasn't as clear on was how far the White Temple is from Chiang Mai, which is where Diego and I were vacationing for a few days. Being the good sport that Diego was, though, he still agreed to go on the four-hour car ride to go see the White Temple. Instead of booking a commercial tour, Diego and I negotiated with one of the local taxi drivers to take us on a day tour. We highly recommend going this route. We had a great experience. Our driver was so well informed on the history of both areas and he took us to some great local spots along the way where we got to taste some delicious Thai treats. Make sure you arrange the tour to the White Temple. It's open every day from 6.30 a.m. to 6 p.m and plan to give yourself at least 40 minutes to explore the grounds and various buildings that make up this entire complex. While the White Temple represents the mind, the Golden Building represents the body. The ornate decorations that adorn the Golden Building symbolizes people's focus on money and worldly desires. This building represents the merits of focusing on the mind rather than material possessions. As in any temple in Thailand, please be mindful and dress respectfully. Make sure you take off your shoes before going into any of the buildings. The Blue Temple Complex is open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and the entrance is free, so you cannot miss this opportunity to go visit. The Blue Temple was completed recently in 2016, and it sits a few kilometers from the Chiang Rai city at the district of Rim Rock. It's not far from the White Temple. What's up guys, we made it to the Blue Temple. So what they tell us is that the architecture is pretty much the same as the White Temple. However, the only difference is that the color is a blue and gold hue to it, and it's beautiful. Look at that, let's take a look around. Not quite as hyped in the Instagram world, the Blue Temple is still a stunning experience. The intricacies of the architecture and surrounding sculptures are truly magnificent. Inside the Blue Temple is a kaleidoscope of color and patterns. They are elaborate and unbelievable intricate paintings completely covering every surface. Like most Thai temples, the walls depict stories of the life of the Buddha, but these have been painted in a particularly modern style. Much of this art is mounted in gold frames which fit amazingly with the rest of the themes. 
Even the ceilings are spectacular. The murals and art inside of the temple create such a vivid experience you feel as if you entered a fantasy world. In the center of the temple sits the Buddha statue. It's made of shiny white porcelain that looks ethereal in the rest of the room. After experiencing the peace of the enlightened Buddha statue, the room's exit is a bit jarring. The wall around the doorframe is painted to be a representation of hell, and the doorway itself is the gaping mouth of a demon. The Blue Temple is an essential addition to any Shanghai itinerary for every traveler interested in culture, history, or art in general. The Black Temple isn't just one structure, it's a collection of 40 buildings of different shapes and sizes around a peaceful garden. The largest structure is located by the main entrance and sets the tone for what visitors can expect as they explore the rest of the site. A giant table sits in the middle of the room and some snakeskin run through the length of it and create a very unusual table run. Admission to the Black Temple is 80 baht and the place is open from 9am to 5pm and there's no dress code. The Black House was our last and final stop, a recommendation by our very own driver. It surely was an experience. The statues, the building, the architecture, and the artwork. All very strange, very eclectic, and a little erotic. Scratch that, a lot erotic. Definitely not my first choice of places to take my mother who happened to join Diego and I on this particular journey. Everything at the Black Temple is black, and it gives a dark aura, and each of the 15 houses is decorated with some dead animal remains. Even though this temple has dark and freaky art, we found walking the campgrounds to be very tranquil. Hey guys, so we finished walking through the Van Dam Museum, also known as the Black Temple and it was very beautiful inside, very intricate art and detail. The architecture is just amazing. The campground was just huge. So right now we're on our way, get some food around here. So super excited, later. Hope you guys enjoyed our trip around Chiang Rai. Catch you guys on the next one.